Well, Teresa, why don't you and Whitney have a seat there? The sooner we can get this unpleasantness over, the better for all of us, Mr. Lomax. I apologize for taking you away from the country club, Mrs. Crane. But I was under the impression that you didn't want to draw any attention to this situation. No, no, I don't, actually. I... Oh, Ethan, good. Here you are. What's going on, Mother? I was still at the courthouse after Sheridan's hearing when I got Frank's message saying you wanted me to come home. It's about the investigation, Mr. Lomax. Claims that he has found the girl that is stalking you. Oh, good work, Frank. It's about time. So who is she? The answer's right under your nose, Ethan. Right here. I don't understand, Frank. W what are you saying? This girl knows our stalker. She's covering for her. Perhaps you don't realize, Frank, but this girl that you're accusing happens to be my personal assistant. No. I didn't know. But that doesn't change my opinion that she knows who our stalker is. Is this true, Teresa? Do you know anything about the young woman who's been stalking me? The only thing I know is what I already told your investigator. And what was that? Well, he showed me a sketch of the girl he said he was stalking you, and I told him I knew her, but that her family had taken her away to South America. She is lying. The girl who's been after you is right here in Harmony, and both these girls know it. What makes you so sure, Frank? The gardener at the country club. He identified the girl in my sketch. He's positive that he saw your stalker this morning at the club. I see. There's more. I ran into this young woman with her sister and her friend at the wharf. Her sister's about to identify my sketch when she shuts her up. For some reason, both of these girls are covering up for the person that's stalking you, Ethan. This is a very serious charge, girls. I know, Mrs. Crane. If you know this girl who has been stalking my son, then you have to stop protecting her. She's a very troubled girl. And she needs to be stopped so she can get the help she needs. I want the truth, Teresa. And as far as I know, Mrs. Crane, the girl you're looking for is in South America. You know these girls are lying, don't you? Your accusations against Teresa and Whitney are ridiculous, Frank. You hired me to do a job, and I'm doing it. Ethan, both these girls know more than they're admitting. So you keep saying. Look, Frank, if you were accusing anybody else of a cover-up, maybe I'd buy it. But Teresa and Whitney have no reason to lie. They both come from very good families. Whitney's mother is a respected doctor, and her father is the athletic coach at the high school. <laughs> Teresa's mother is Pilar, my housekeeper, who has worked for me for years, and who I am very fond of. Besides, Teresa knows that the stalker is dangerous to me and everyone in the family. They are protecting someone. Who is it? A relative? A girlfriend? <laughs> Teresa, what's wrong? Are you all right? Um, I, I think she'll be okay if I just get some cold water on her face. Oh, uh, of course, dear. There's powder room right at the end of the hall. Thank you. You never asked how the hearing went, Mother. Uh, well... I knew it would go well when Mayor Demarest called the police chief. What are you talking about? Your father called the mayor and threatened to file a sexual harassment suit against Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Father ordered me not to play the harassment card because he didn't want the press leaping all over Sheridan's name. How could he go and use it himself? Well, I believe your father made the distinction that his way was behind closed doors. He had no right to interfere. You haven't been home long, Ethan. Your father frequently plays God. You'll get used to it. The hell I will, and neither will Sheridan. She will be furious that her brother used her name without her consent. Well, I wouldn't tell Sheridan, Ethan. There's no reason she really has to know. Oh, well, Teresa, are you feeling better? I'm much better. Thank you, Mrs. Crane. I just hope you believe I'm not protecting anyone. We're not accusing you of anything, Teresa. I swear that girl in the sketch is far away from Harmony by now. Yeah, her whole family moved. Well, that's right. She won't be back. I'm sure she'll never be a problem to you again. Well, I certainly would like to believe that that's true. Well, you can, Mrs. Crane. I I'm sure all the incidents with the paint and the milkshakes and everything else were just accidents. She was just nervous being so close to your son. 
You almost sound as if you were there, Teresa. Oh, well, it's just I can Im imagine how she felt. I mean, I was so nervous the first time I met anyone from your family that, um, well, my knees were knocking together. I'm surprised you didn't hear them. My whole first day, I was afraid I'd spill something, too. Oh, honey, you, you can't compare yourself to that troubled girl. I mean, she stalked even onto the ground. Oh, but she's long gone. Unless you want to hunt her down in South America. Uh, Teresa's right. There's no point in continuing this investigation. Well, this family certainly can't afford any more problems. But how can we be sure your stalker's in South America? If Teresa says she is, I believe her. But what if she went and came back? I thought you wanted to catch the woman who was terrorizing your son. I do. Then let me do what you hired me to do. All right, yes, I want to get to the bottom of this, so... Go ahead and continue your investigation, Frank. Thank you, Mrs. Crane. I'm late for an appointment. Yeah. 